Um, something that, uh, you know, Canon seems to have, you know, they used to be the king of sensors, and they've kind of not been keeping up lately. I mean, um, they don't have anything to rival the D800's 36 megapixel sensor. They don't have um, anything uh, that beats the, the, the D7100, D5300, D3300, 24 megapixel sensor. Um, why? That's, that's a good question, you know. Um, they used to be you know, king of the hill a few years back. Ever since the advent of the D3, the uh, D700, D7000, that series of cameras from Nikon, uh, Canon just hasn't been able to keep up with the sensors. Uh, I'm not sure why. Hopefully they have something in the works. Uh, I mean, basically now they've got what, I think it's uh, is it 20 or 22 megapixels is their highest sensor. I mean, the D800 has a 36 megapixel sensor and it performs amazing. Where is Canon? Um, the 18 megapixel sensor in the 70D and the T5i, um, it's getting pretty long in the tooth. It's getting old. It doesn't uh, perform as well as a 24 megapixel sensor in the D7100, the D5300, the D3300, in the Sony cameras and the Pentax K3. Uh, Canon really needs to get back in the game here on sensor technology. I'd like to see something from them, not only, you know, at least equaling 24 megapixels and, and you know, good performing sensor, I'd also, I think a lot of people would, would like to see Canon come back with a flagship high megapixel sensor body. Um, basically, like, let's see a 50 megapixel body, something to rival the D800, because we know Nikon's gonna be using the new uh, 50 megapixel sensor from Sony very soon. It'll probably be the update to the D800, maybe a D900 or something, but, Where's Canon here? How come they're not um, coming with a competitor? They don't have any competitor here. Um, you know, I know uh, Canon markets very well in the, in America, and um, they they spend a lot of money on advertising, so they sent, tend to be you know good selling in in the Americas. But um, what a lot of people don't probably realize is worldwide, they're pretty much neck and neck with Nikon as far as sales and popularity of cameras. I, I think that it's probably valid that in, in America, uh, Canon is maybe a little more popular, but worldwide, not so, you know? So, um, what's going on here? What do you guys think? Uh, what's going on with Canon and their sensors? Uh, what do you think about the D4S beating the 1DX on DxO Mark? Leave me some comments below. Let's have a discussion on the D4S versus the 1DX. Canon sensors in general, what do you think? Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new videos, some new articles. Keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, technology, videography, right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.